Football and Fort Ice is one of the most special things I think you can find in small town Arkansas. Our town is 100% behind the Red Bucks. Football is it in Fort Ice. Football is probably the bedrock of the school culture and perhaps even the community culture. Fort Ice has a rich history of sports. We want to be a three-peat, three-time state champion back-to-back. -back. You want to know how it got its name? Well, someone had given the land for a football field to the high school, and the football players went out there to clear the land, and they got red bugs on them. Well, they're little tiny things that you can't see, but if they bite you, you'll know that. So somebody said, well, what are we going to name the football team? And they said, Red bugs, because they're mean and, and they'll eat you up. <laughs> well, once upon a time, we considered Fort Ice Mayberry, USA. It was, yeah. <laughs> I think that we have managed to raise some mighty good young men. And one of the finest young men we've raised is right over here. This is another one of our little, Fort, not little. <laughs> Get it, Get it, Rope! Come on! Who's this? Who's your Currently, I play center on the offensive line. My job is to snap the ball to the quarterback and then kind of direct the rest of the offensive line, make sure everybody kind of knows what they're doing, and then just go out and block people. COVID was a major factor last year. I, I know our first round of the playoffs, we actually had a game scheduled, but it got canceled because the opposing team had so many cases of COVID that they got immediately knocked out of playoff contention. Yeah, I can let you in there, baby. COVID has been devastating to the educational process. Virtual education probably works pretty well in Little Rock or Fayetteville or Springdale or Rogers, but it does not work in Dallas County, Arkansas. We don't have the bandwidth the kids don't have the electronics at home because they, many of them do live in poverty. So that just didn't work at all, and I knew it wasn't going to work. I, I worry that some of these kids are never going to catch up. I'm afraid this learning loss is going to follow them until graduation. So we're working very hard to recover lost learning and to get these kids back on track academically. To do that, we've got to have school not virtual school, face-to-face -face school. I've kind of likened it to being lost in the jungle. We're lost in the COVID jungle. The path out is vaccination and mask. Coming back this year, I knew if I want to be able to go out and perform for my, my town and be able to give the fans and everybody else in this town a good season, then I think that it's no-brainer of what I should do. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Hey, job, you do that, right. we win Friday night easy. So I decided after a long talk with my mom and my dad and just going back and forth with it to go ahead and get the vaccine, and I've had no problems with it. Red Bulls on three, family on six. One, two, three. Red Bulls! Four, five, six, seven. I am just tickled with, with how well the kids are, are responding to this. People who don't want to get the vaccine, I respect that point of view. Nobody is making these kids be vaccinated. They have to have a parental consent form signed in order to, to be in this incentive program. All my classmates got their shots and they was telling me I should get mine. So Peyton, how was school today? No troubles? No homework? I think it's a good incentive to get them because, you know, a lot of them, $50 is a lot to a lot of kids. So, yeah, I think it's a good incentive to get them to get the shot. You know, with him, I, I, I had already been on him about getting the shot. It didn't have nothing to do with the $50. I didn't know it until my sister, she works out here, she was telling me about they get $50 if they get vaccinated. I said, well, he was getting vaccinated either way it go. <laughs> we had to fight tooth and nail, but we got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy me a PSN card for my PlayStation. All righty. Get you all dosed up, you be ready to go, man. So 
little pooch. There it is. I would tell him to give you, it's not scared, it's just a shot. It's not gonna hurt you. I would feel guilty knowing if I had COVID and didn't know it, and I got somebody else sick, I would, I would feel guilty. There's another one that's not gonna get bad sick. You know, there's another one that's not gonna die. You know, there's another one that's not gonna give it to somebody else, hopefully. You know, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a victory. It's, it, it's like we've, we've accomplished something. <laughs> Hey guys, this is going to be the biggest ball game we've played this year so far. And guys, if we want to win state, we got to win Friday night. I, I'm just to the point where whatever it takes to get us back on the right track for learning to take place, we, we've got to do this for these kids' educational futures and for their educational presence. We we're trying to do what's right for the community and trying to just keep as many people as we can safe. We love these kids and we want what's best for them. We're going to look out for them every way we can and we are all going to work together to do what we think is best. And we feel that vaccination is going to be the way out of this. To find the COVID-19 vaccine location near you, visit myarkansaspbs.org slash vaccine or call 1-800-985-6030. Para encontrar una vacuna contra el COVID-19 cerca de usted, visite myarkansaspbs.org para vacuna o llame 1-800-985-6030.